Brandon University women's volleyball team is hoping to make the final two matches of November, ones to remember. The UBC Okanagan Heat are in town to take on the Bobcats to close out the first half of the Canada West season. BU was right on the doorstep of picking up its first win of the conference season last weekend, but dropped a five-set thriller on the road against the McEwen Griffins. I feel like a lot of us kind of need a W in our lives, so um, if that comes, then it will um, set us in the right direction for next semester. The Bobcats host the UBCO team that has found success in the past playing at the Healthy Living Center. In March 2016, the Heat made history, winning the program's first ever national bronze medal when Brandon hosted the U Sports Championship. Well, they are a big team, they're a powerful team that hits hard, and we're an extremely defensive team that we take a lot of pride in, so we'll be able to um, out-defend them, hopefully. On the men's side, the Bobcats and Heat are at opposite ends of the standings. The Bobcats are tied for top spot with a record of 9-1, while UBCO is 0-8. Well, they're a pretty challenging team. Their record may not show it, but they've got a lot of different parts there with their team that can cause problems, and they've used multiple players and multiple lineups, and that can be a challenge to prepare for it. But uh, as usual, we're going to really just try to focus on ourselves and be the best version of us, and, and uh, hopefully we can find a way to uh, pick up a couple Ws. The defending conference champions have picked up four straight wins since being handed their only loss to Dayton Winnipeg against the Westman in early November. The Bobcats return to conference action at home on January 10th when they begin a tough second half schedule beginning with the Alberta Golden Bears. It's a rematch of the national semi-final last March in Quebec City. We all know that we're not where we need to be yet. We still got some strides we need to make for second semester because we got some really good competition and then playoffs will come around the corner we've got to be playing our best and so uh, we're happy with kind of the some of the strides we've made, but we know we got uh, a little more work to do in some areas of our game, and so uh, that'll be kind of the focus of uh, this last weekend to kind of work on a couple of those things and take, a, take some of that momentum into the second term.